most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your What's up my love bugs and love muffins? This is Mama Love and I am back with a requested video. I am back with the mac and cheese. Yes, it's going down today in the kitchen. So I want you all to stay tuned as Mama Love put it together. Okay, so everybody know to put the macaroni and cheese in the boiling water, I added oil so that it doesn't stick together. Okay, you all, so here is my ingredients, what I'm doing with my mac and cheese. I am doing it a little different today um, I always have uh, shredded cheese, but uh, you learn something new every day. Shredded cheese has like a clear film over it, and um, a film is put on it to protect it from, I guess, sticking together. So when you buy it, the store, that's why your cheese doesn't stick together. So I just went on about the bar cheese, and I have Kobe Jack. Oh, Kobe. Uh extra sharp cheddar and and minor reject and philadelphia cream cheese i have my stick of butter i have my velveta cheese and my my milk okay that's what i'm gonna be using today something new that i'm i'm doing i bought a little shredder grater whatever for my cheese so that's what i'll be doing today stay tuned okay you all so in my big green bowl i'm going to be shredding my cheese I started out with my Kobe Jack cheese, and as you know, my shredder. I think I'm going to use uh, only like half a bar, half of the bar of cheese each, uh, because I'm only using uh, one box of Elbow's macaroni noodles. And uh, I have another uh, box in there, and I can use this other half, and also, by me adding all these cheeses, I should be fine because of the fact that uh, Velveeta and the Philadelphia cheese that I'm using is going to, uh, look how, how pretty that slice is that for me. It's going to be, it's creamy, y'all. I'm going to cream it out, first of all. Um, I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to do it a little different. Uh, I usually just put all my cheeses in and I mix them together in a sauce, make a sauce. But this time I'm going to just do the Velveeta butter, um, the Philadelphia cream cheese, since it's both soft cheeses, I'm going to go ahead and mix those together and make the sauce and then go in between layer by layer of uh, with the shredded cheese as I uh, put the mat uh, inside the, the pan. It'll already be che saucy cheese, as I would call it. Okay. I made a nice amount. That's, like I said, half a bar. So that's half the bar of our Kobe Jack. And I'm going to go over here with the Kobe. I heard that you get more flavor in the bar cheese than you do, like I said, the packaged cheese. Because the packaged cheese is, like I said, got a film over it just to uh, keep it from sticking. I love the way that this is grating. This is grating really nice. This is gonna be just amount, a nice amount of cheese. This is Kobe, as I said. Don't be afraid of the cheese. That's what makes it macaroni and cheese. You don't want uh, macaroni or uh, cheese macaroni. You want macaroni and cheese. Not macaroni and noodles and some cheese. You see that? Making sure you all see it. I'm down to my half a bar. There we go. There. Now I'm moving to my extra sharp. And pretty much, y'all, this is what I'm going to do with the, 
the next cheese, uh, which is the monterey. The mon I, I call it the monterey. Mon moner I can't pronounce that. The, the, somebody said monastery, uh, the, the monterey, or however you pronounce it. But I'm going to pronounce the monterey jack cheese. I'm going to do uh, grate it with uh, uh, the extra sharp cheddar, and I'm going to grate the uh, monterey jack cheese. I'm going in here with the. Let me just see that. The Monterey, the Monterey Jack. Y'all don't laugh at me when I keep saying Monterey. I'm going to say Mont Jack. That's how I'm going to say it. Mont Jack cheese. And I got these gloves on because I don't like cheese and stuff all on my hands and in my nails. So I got my gloves on today. Get all that out of there. Only took, like I said, a half a bar of that too. That was the biggest cheese that they had in that ounce size. God, that's turning out real nice, really great and really nice. That's a nice amount of cheese. Look at that. Different type of cheese is up in there. Extra sharp cheddar. Kobe, Kobe Jack. Mark. Philadelphia Velveeta. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to be cutting my finger, so I'm going on through with this knife and just do this. All going to end up the same anyway. That's that you all. The next you'll be seeing is me making my cheese sauce. Okay, so in this pot, you will see me melting my butter. Let me turn this on low because this, this, this get hot over here. This melts really, really fast. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be adding my butter. My butter is in it. I'm going to add all the Philadelphia cream cheese because the fact that it's small package anyway and yeah, just gonna add my Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'm gonna add my Velveeta. Hold up. Should have made those blocks smaller than that, but that's okay. Okay. Um, as y'all know, uh, it's optional when it comes to me. Uh, I never add eggs in my mac. I don't like eggs in my mac. I don't. I don't know why. I, I guess maybe because, eh, when I was younger, I had a bad experience. Uh, and I guess it was. It's always the hard. It made the top of the mac hard and crusty, and you know, it was just really hard. So I never ever, you know, kind of like used eggs in my mac and cheese. Um, I like it. I like it to be breaded. Uh, well, not breaded, but crusted. You know, just right, where it's still kind of crispy. You know what I mean? It's kind of crispy from being browned, and then your inside like moist. That's that's melting real pretty. That's melting really pretty. Um, I love these. This this pot, these non-stick pots and pans that they have nowadays. Because back in the day, boy, you be cleaning up some mess. So this is the Philadelphia cream cheese, the stick of butter, the half. This is a half a block of Velveeta, you all. Half a block of Velveeta. I just want to get most of it, you know, melted before I add the cream. I'm letting you know, I'm adding three cans of cream. Uh, I was going to find a pet milk. Could not find it for some reason. I was going to find, that don't sound right. I was going to use a, a pet milk. And uh, I couldn't find it, so I ain't push it. So I stuck with the evaporated milk. I'm gonna use which gives it a nice cream base and also a um, creamy texture. Mm, this sauce is gonna be real smooth before about time those macaronis are added, so. 
<clears throat> and uh, the way this is looking, um, I don't know, I may use two cans. The pans. Uh, I don't like dry mac. It should, it should not be dry and cheesy. It should be creamy and cheesy. And um, baked as you slice into it. So as I'm stirring, you will see these chunks disappear. Also, as you can see, my sauce is thickened the way I want it. Now I'm gonna pour in my drained macaroni noodles. Jesus, hold on, y'all, I'm doing this by myself. My son's asleep, he ain't no help. This time he's usually holding the camera for me, but he's not. But it's all good. She was stirring it off into the sauce. Like I said, y'all only use one box this time. One box. So, this is real, uh, I should have just maybe used one can, but I know it's gonna, it's gonna dry you all as it bakes, so it doesn't matter, you'll see. You'll see it dry. Not really hard to mix as you can see it all drowned it in the mac so you will see that cheese sauce um come to a light firm texture further on in the video but that's how it's supposed to look so remember when i told y'all that this sauce was going to swell and that's exactly what it did so i said i used two cans and i might be using um Three, well, I think I'm gonna be using three, okay? Um, because, like I said, you can put your macaroni the way you wanna put it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that all in there. Set it up to the side. See how creamy that is, you all? All that cheese is going in there. Like all that cheese, all that cheese. All that cheese like that, all that cheese like that. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I'm gonna add the cheese and, but I'm gonna let y'all know something. Uh, I don't like uh, regular salt. I don't like pepper. Uh, I don't like, as much as I like garlic, y'all, and onion powder and all that, I don't like it in my mac and cheese. Only thing I like seasoning in my mac and cheese is Lori seasoning salt. And the reason being is because I don't want nothing to take away from any of those sauces. Now y'all, y'all choose to do how y'all do y'alls, but slightly over the top, I like to use seasoning salt. That's it. That's all I use in my mac and cheese. Because the cheese is itself and by the way, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I tasted a corner of this with that Philadelphia cream cheese and Velveeta cheese in here. Oh my God. I don't even have the rest of the flavors cheeses in here. Um, like I'm about to now. I see that, that cheese is gone. See, it's better than a shred cheese that's already shredded because what it does is it, uh, it's pure cheese. Like I said, the other one. It has the little film all on it and stuff like that. This doesn't, so. And I like to spread it across abroad. <laughs> and so, being that the uh, mac and cheese already has the sauciest cheese in it, I'm gonna put and spread this on the top and kind of like push it down a little because when it melts, it's gonna melt down in there, okay? And um, this is how I'm gonna do that. With all these different cheeses I have. Um, I am going to take my third can. Now this is optional y'all, but this is what I do. Uh, I'm going to take the third can and I'm just gonna Pour it around in the pan. I am going to put this 
pan of macaroni and cheese in the oven, pre, uh, it's already pre uh, baked, it's already on, um, at 350 degrees. I am going to pull macaroni and cheese out in about 45 minutes. Like I said, you gotta have a cheese, gotta have a cheese. All the different flavors. Then. Uh, before I was using the um, creamer, half and half, you know, but I decided to use that evaporated milk, you know, and so um, we'll see how that turns out. I went from 2%, half and half, to the evaporated milk, but I'm not going to lie, I tried to find the pet milk. I was just too lazy to go to another store, y'all, but it's all good, like I said, because either way it goes, your girl's mac and cheese is boss, okay? And I'll find out when y'all try the recipe. Just like y'all tried the homemade uh, recipe for the um, my home my cornbread dressing, you know. Um, um, thank you all for the compliments and nice comments. And some of y'all tried it and said it was five. So yeah, so this is gonna be the same same thing, y'all. Um, I got this from my aunt, my aunt Didi. Mm, that woman, she can cook. And uh, I had this this for years too, but I change this up. My mac and cheese around, I always change up on it. So we'll see how it looks when it comes out all cheesy and melty and brown and golden and chewy and mmm. Y'all gonna see. Stay tuned. Look it up in it bubbling. Look at it. Come through, baby. Come through, boo. Woo! Okay, trust the process, boo, okay? Trust the process. Okay. 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 Trust the process, boo. Ah, it away. Miss America. If y'all see this video, please comment in the comments. Please convince my mom to let me get a poodle for Christmas. Mom, I'm trying to talk to them. Please, please um, comment in the comments. Let me get a poodle. Because mom won't let me get a poodle for Christmas. So, I want a poodle. So, let's see what she'll say. Tina can't even clean it behind her own, so. Stop, friend. You want to say nothing you call him? He didn't ask for a poodle, Tina did. Y'all, when I tell you, let me I told y'all, only put seasoning salt because I'm tasting every oh, cheese man. flavor that I have put in this mac and cheese. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Come on. Girl, come too. It's, that's why people like me that can cook. It's like, that's the reason why I'm fat. <laughs> it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense for this mac and cheese to taste like this? Are you serious? I feel like I'm Gucci Mane in 2006. Uh, uh. All right, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video because I sure did and I'm gonna enjoy it after the fact too. <laughs> yes, honey. Creamy macaroni and cheese. Peace out in Jesus' name.